Hey there, Hoshpap here, back for some more LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed, and today we're going to just be doing a very, very quick video. There's the Mr. Moneybags quest on, which I absolutely love. With this particular timed quest, what you got to do is just spend coins, and if you hit certain coin milestones, you get rewards, such as Super Wrestler Tiles this time. And it's a big one, so sometimes with the Mr. Moneybags quest, they do little ones where it's like about a million you have to spend, or maybe a bit more than a million. But this is a big one where you actually have to spend five million coins. That's a lot of coins. So it's the perfect opportunity to power up some minifigures that we've just left sitting idle, such as DigiJ, Spooky Girl, it could be anyone really. We can choose any minifigure we want to. So obviously all we need to do is spend coins. We can either just spend it all on just flat power-ups, we could level them up, because that counts too. We could also slot in some gear, because that costs coins. So we've got a lot of choices to do. First of all though, I think we're gonna just go all in on DigiJ, as, you know, he deserves to be not only level 65, but also to get him up to 7 stars. And there we go. We got DigiJ up to 7 stars, just as he deserves to be. Right, we've definitely still got some coins to spend, so let's see who we should go for next. I guess maybe Spooky Girl, because she is used in an event. So yeah, we could do that. That's another one and a half million coins. And there we go, Spooky Girl's up to seven stars now. Okay, it looks like we've got another million and a bit to spend, so... We could, we could just power up the Major, but we're not going to do that actually, as we don't really use him that much. Like, outside of the occasional node in Brickspedition, just trying to get rid of stealth off of Ninjago, they don't really use him, so it's not that critical to do so. Primo, I don't use either, but sometimes in City events, you do need him up, so I'm, I'm considering powering up Primo. Clockwork Robot. We just could, we could just get him up by one. There we go. Yeah, now he's five stars. So we just need 700,000 or more. Well, we can spend more, obviously. And I think this would cost a million. Yeah, so that would be a good one to buy. Let's see who else. Or we could, we could just start doing Castaway, I suppose. Eventually trying to use him in our pirate team. So, yeah, yeah, that might work. And hey, this is 500,000, so there we go. Got Hank the Castaway to five stars, and I think that's it for the Mr. Moneybags quest. We don't need to level him up, and we don't have to do any of his abilities up top. But yeah, that's basically the strategy with uh, that quest, is trying to make sure that you power up enough minifigures to use, but the ones you don't use as much save for that quest. Otherwise, if I maxed everyone out, one, I would probably run out of coins already, but I wouldn't have been able to do this quest because there's no way you can spend 5 billion coins in the shop. There's just not enough for you to buy, even if you're buying stuff every day. So you definitely have to spend your coins on the minifigures to get this to work. Luckily, gear 8 costs a lot of money to slot those in as well now, so... Maybe if you've maxed out all the minifigures, you can get it through that. Right, let's just click on this. I'm not going to buy it. It's gear 7, right? Yeah. And it's only 48,000, actually. It's not a lot of coins. I guess they add up if you buy a lot. But yeah, the majority of your coins when doing this will definitely be going into increasing the star rank of your minifigures. Leveling up also costs a fair chunk, too. But the easiest is, yeah, just the star ranks. But you could also do sets, too. I've done sets before. Um, it's always very tricky because it's exciting when Mr. Moneybags rolls around. It's like, oh, what do I get? There have been some sets that were waiting to get some stuff. I don't know if I spent them last time? I guess I did it last time then. Never mind. There are some of those tier 3 set tools to slot in. And this counts as well. 75,000 is a lot. So that is worth waiting. Unless you need the set now. So we got a bunch of those we can do, but I think most of the sets that are farmable have been already powered up to 5 stars. And yes, we are slowly working on the Lego house, which is 
No, we can't buy anymore. We need more guild currency. It takes forever to get this, but eventually we will get this up to five stars. It's worth the grind. It's good with collectible minifigures, and there's a collectible event going on at the moment, which, you know, it's nice to pair with this. And yeah, gonna end the video here. Just a quick one, completing the Mr. Moneybags quest. And we powered up a bunch of minifigures, so they will maybe be useful in the future, who knows? Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.